hi welcome to my channel takoyaki tarot today is january 11th 2023 7 50 p.m um uh, i do actually hold on one second okay i had to eat my drink um so before i start i just want to let anyone know that's watching that these Messages are not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. If they resonate with you, give you clarity, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. Don't force it to be your story. Don't try to make it yours because not one size fits all, okay? Um, aside from that, I will start off with my prayer of protection. I pray to God and call upon Archangel Michael and any ancestors, angels, and spirits of the highest white light that love me unconditionally to continue to protect me and my family during this time. Please help us see things clearly and to help us remove the fog of illusion that has led us down a false path in the past. Amen. Okay, um, for anyone who hasn't seen the love readings for this month, which is Libra, Scorpio, and Aries, I posted those already. And then I will be posting Cancer, Sagittarius, and Capricorn for February. Um, but I actually might post them a little bit later on this month. As well as Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius. I have those scheduled for March. But again, I might post them this month, depending on how I feel. And then Leo, 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 Virgo, and Taurus. I will post them. Those are scheduled for April, but I might post them in January as well. Depends on how I feel. You know, I just might push them all back a month. But we'll see. So, aside from that, I'm going to, you know, get get it go, get get moving, I guess. I don't know, I just started stuttering, wow. Hold on. Okay, um, so energy for the collective, energy for the collective on this lovely night, evening, um, I'll take them. We have nature and then we have risk in the reverse. Okay. Immediately, um, collective, you guys are going out in nature more, experiencing the outside fresh air more. Okay. You guys are focused more on nature. If it may not even be about going outside, it could just be I don't know, being more in tune with the environment around you. I feel like it's more like that. But aside from that, I feel like you're more focused on this instead of taking risks that you don't need to be taking. All right? Risk and reverse. That's pretty much it, really. You're not really in the habit of... Maybe you took a lot of risks before. Um, but I don't think you're in the habit of going against your intuition. If anything... Um, what do animals do in nature? They follow nature. They're intuitive. Uh, I know there's this thing about horses. When um, when horses drink from a from a stream or something, drink that water, all right? Because horses know what water not to drink. If you know birds make their nest in a certain tree, then it's okay to be under that tree to relax and you know hide from the sun. Things like that, right? You're more following nature, following your instincts, right? So, I mean, whether or not you're outside, it, uh, that's not really the point of this part. I feel like you're just really getting into the habit of becoming more in tune with your instincts, 
All right. And instead of going against your instincts, against your intuition, um, you know, trying to like, what is it? Rolling dice, gambling, right? Instead of taking these risks, these gambles with life, you're just following life, going with the flow. Okay. Like, uh, instead of being a risk taker, <clears throat> you're not in that energy anymore. You're just literally following your intuition. So that's good. I feel like this is something that you overcame. Right? Oh, hold on. Cool. I'm back. All right, I'm going to pull a couple of these bad boys. I think I'll do that. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to get like four. You know what's funny too because in my head I was just like um hopefully this is going to be used for the collective only that's my intention right that this would be a reading for the collective only right no I guess not so we're going to do left side collective right side strangers mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is there a card that's out, like upright? I feel like I saw a card that was upright, unless there was just a bold lettering in there. Yeah, I think it was just a bold lettering. Anyways, okay, so. This is part of your purpose. Okay, so um, moving on, I just have to double check. So for the collective, we have, there are cryptic messages in your dreams and forgive them. Okay. Um, I feel like this is talking about like an um, eye for an eye kind of thing, right? Instead of risking your progress and, you know, going for, re um, for revenge and all of that, you're just going to forgive whatever was going on instead of risking your progress. You're just gonna forgive them and then move on, right? I always like to say um, forgive them so you can clear up that space within you so that way you have room to receive, you know, um, harmony, peace, healing, love, abundance, right? And then, but for the, um, there are cryptic messages in your dreams. That goes right with the nature You're because you're getting in the habit of following your instincts. This is really more about instincts because you're getting in the habit of following your instincts more. You're understanding that there are cryptic messages in your dreams and you're, you're able to decipher them or understand them better. And not only that, but because you're, you're actually listening to your instincts, your intuition, you're listening to your body, your, your natural rhythm, nature around you, everything, right? You're able to receive the messages that are in your dreams. All right. So that's great. These two, this is like a paradox. This is for the strangers, right? These two cards go kind of hand in hand for this particular reading. Okay. Um, the first card was they are dancing with the devil. And then he slash she wants to set you up. Watch out. So I feel like because somebody is involved with things that they should not be involved with. That's the reason why they want to set you up. And because of the fact that they want to set you up, they're tied in with things that they should not be tied in with, right? Um, but I feel like for, 
this is why you have to i mean you don't have to technically you don't have to do anything right it's all up to its choice we all have a choice right but this is why you're being called to forgive them because you know that these people whoever this person is they were trying to set you up but you have to understand that they were acting on the behest of the devil right um now that's entirely that's their business that's what they wanted to do that's what they decided to do this was a choice to dance right they did they did oh, geez they made a decision to dance right but um i feel like you don't when it comes to forgiving them it's more so forgive them for what they tried to do to you and then that's it Anything else that they were doing behind the scenes, anything else that, that they're doing in their life, excuse me, it's it's all them, right? That's that's not your obligation, that's not your job, that's not your duty, that's nothing. Hold on one second. All right, so hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um let's see. So yeah, um I just you know, the whole forgiveness thing is really because that they really tried to play you and set you up for whatever. Um, that's the extent of how far your forgiveness would go or should go. Because aside from that, like their personal lives, their personal affairs, nothing to do with you. Okay. So now I'm going to jump into some tarot. You, I feel like I should get a card for that. Yeah, let me get a card for this side and then I'll do tarot. Balance and dominance. But this fell over on this side, the collective side. I feel like you know not to take unimportant risks. This is something that you dominated within yourself. Like, in a sense, like, um, Kind of like fought yourself or you know war with yourself that whole kind of thing you you um i'm really stalling law it's like you fought yourself and you won all right now you have balance within yourself you're able to actually follow your instincts this could have been you know something that you were fighting within yourself of yourself but that's a whole different thing you're not taking risks. You're following your instincts. You're listening to your dreams. You're forgiving. You have balance within yourself. You have basically dominion over yourself. Okay, dominance over yourself. These people, whoever this person is, they don't because they're dancing with the devil. All right, they don't they don't own themselves. All right? That, that's one of the reasons why they're trying to set you up is because of the fact that they don't own themselves so they don't want you to be um... <sighs> isolation and reverse yeah they're trying to set you up because they don't want to be alone and with with uh, with whatever that they're dealing with Misery loves company. So whatever that they're dealing with, making dancing with things they shouldn't be dancing with, making deals that they shouldn't be making deals with, they don't want to be alone in that. They've made a deal and they're just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be alone in this. That's it. That's the only reason why they're trying to set you up and you knew that. You're being called to forgive them for this, but aside from that, that's not your problem. 
All right. It's not your, you're not being called to save them. You're not being called to talk to them, to reach out to them. You don't even have to let them know that you forgave them. If you're going to forgive somebody too, you can always just do it within yourself. You don't have to broadcast it. You don't have to make a post about it. You don't have to make a video about it. You don't have to reach out to them like nothing, right? You don't have to make flyers and post them around town. If you forgave them, you forgave them and that's it. But they just don't want to be alone and you know, so that's the only reason why. Hold on one second. All right, so now I can jump into tarot. And get the three of wands. Who's waiting? They're waiting. I feel like if they try to set you up, they're waiting to see if it's working. Because like I said, they don't want to be alone. They're trying to see past. They're trying. This is what they're trying to see past. They're trying to see past dancing with the devil. They can't because they made that choice. You can't. They're going to keep waiting because this is not something that it, it can't it can't affect you. This is not something All right. All right, three of wands, please, spirit. Three of wands. Ace of cups. What? They're, they don't want to be, okay. They did something that they should not have done. Right, they made deals or whatever. And in doing so, they tried to set you up on top of that as well. Now they don't want to be alone with whatever they're dealing with. So now they're waiting for you to magically, you know, have love for them or be in love with them. or They're waiting for you to love them. Why would you love somebody? Yeah, because the sun on the bottom of the deck. Hold on. They're... The cutest thing just happened. She's wearing my shoes. <laughs> Yeah, they're waiting for you to come back or they're waiting for you to love them because you make them happy. They're hoping that you're going to balance them out. Judgment and then temperance. They think that all their problems are going to be fixed if you give them love. That's going to make them happy. They won't be getting judged anymore. They can, they're going to be able to avoid judgment. And they're going to be balanced out in life. I mean, no offense, but why would you love somebody who tried to set you up? That makes no sense. Why would you want to put emotions into this? They, why would you fill their cup up? Why would you pour into them? They're hoping that you're going to pour into them. It could be, you know what, too? It could even be knowledge. They're hoping that you're pour. You're, ugh, that you will pour some sort of knowledge or, or love or they just want you to pour into them something, anything that will get them out of this. They just don't want to be alone. Six of Wands. Queen of Pentacles reverse on the bottom of the deck. Okay. This person doesn't have anything. They don't have anything and they don't want to be alone. They have no money, no stability. They don't know what they're doing. Okay. They could only be trying to have you pour into them because they don't have anything. Not because they genuinely want you to pour into them. Not because they genuinely care for you. 
not because of this, not because of this. the only reason why they want you to pour into them is because they have nothing. They don't have money. If they had money, they wouldn't even try to reach out to you. They wouldn't try to, you know, they're, they wouldn't be waiting for you to bring them success with the six of wands. They're hoping that you're going to somehow magically want to pour into them and that because that's going to bring them success. Success. That's how they see it. They're waiting. It's like they're waiting to see better days and they just have to wait it out. Oh, the collective is going to love me. I know it. I know it. And when the collective loves me, I'm going to be successful again. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be winning in life. Because maybe when this person was around you, it fed their ego. It, it, they were winning, all right? They were winning. Strength. You give this person strength and they want that. They Not only that, but they want your strength as well. They want your strength. They want your love. They want your success. They want your strength. They're willing to wait forever for this. It's not going to happen, though. Why would you... I feel like re in reality, they, they just... If this was them, if they had all of this, like... If the tables were turned, they wouldn't even look at you. They wouldn't even smile your way. Nothing like that. My, my tongue is getting tied. Ten of Wands reversed. They want to be able to put down their burdens. They want to be here in this energy, but they can't. Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's like nothing is going well in their life. They're realizing that by doing this, by dancing with the devil, that was a really bad investment on their end. Two of Pentacles reverse, Four of Wands reverse. This was a really bad investment on their end. Now they're stuck juggling things in their life. Their life is unbalanced. They have no stability, no happiness. There's, there's nothing, nothing is going right in their life, but everything is going right for you. So they want that from you. So that's why they're waiting. They're waiting for you to reach out to them. They think that because you're not in their life, this is, they think as long as you're in their life, they're going to be able to have this, but your, all your blessings, all your, your instincts and your balance and all of that, that has nothing to do with them. But they think that if, you know, um, because you don't, you're not in their life, they don't have that anymore. The thing, they can get it if they work for it. But they, they want you in their life so they can take it from you. But they don't want to work for it because it's a burden for them. It's it's too it's too hard for them. It's a burden for them to work for real strength, for them to work for real success, for real love. It's a burden. So they'd rather wait for you to come around and so that way they can try and take it from you. The wheel reverse. This is not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. They're going through some bad karma and they want you to get them out of it. They're going through the karma because they tried to set you up. They see you having love, winning, being strong, successful. All right, I think I'm gonna clarify some cards and then I'm gonna call it. Mm, let me get one more. One more for that.
King of Pentacles reversed. This person has nothing. This could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Masculine. This man has nothing. He's not a good father. He doesn't know what he's doing in life. He doesn't know what he wants. He doesn't have stability. He doesn't have money. He doesn't have love. He doesn't have passion. He doesn't have stability. But, and on top of that, he tried to set you up. And he doesn't want to be alone in his messy ass life. So what is he going to do instead of trying to actually fix it? Trying to be proactive? Trying to find real balance, real strength? He'd rather wait. Wait until love magically falls in his lap. Wait until success magically falls in his lap. Until he magically has, has a strength. Until his burdens magically clear up. And he's banking, he's putting all of his eggs in his basket trying to hopefully, you know, oh, well, if the collective, if I just have the collective reach out to me or if the collective lets me back into their life or if I can get back into the life of the collective, I won't be alone in my mess and the collective will... It's like they, they can siphon all that love, that happiness, that strength, the, that easygoing life. You know, they, they want to siphon it from you. That's really what it is. Knight of Wands. Jeez. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to clarify a couple of these cards and then I'm going to call it. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to clarify any cards only because I'm being summoned. So, I'm going to close it off here. Um, besides, I'm already like 26 minutes in. Um, let me just do one card. One card. I'm going to do isolation in reverse. Isolation reverse, please. Clarify the isolation reverse, please. Wow. This person's stubborn. Two cards came out. Six of Pentacles and Death. Yeah, the days of them leeching off of you, siphoning your abundance, that's done. They can't do that anymore. They can't. That's no more. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason why they want to come back. That's the only reason why they're waiting for you to reach out to them or... They're waiting, like they 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 will wait to the end of days for you and all of your blessings to land in their lap, then using all of that time and energy to work for actual blessings. They can't do this anymore. Like I said, why would you associate with anybody who tried to set you up, who tried to play you? Why would you do that? You're not. That fell right on top of forgive them and balance, too. You already forgave them. You have balance within yourself. You know better. You know what the purpose of this person is trying to... You, you, you know. You know what the pur purpose of this person is trying to do. They can't do this anymore. I feel like I want to clarify one more. <laughs> I want to put that there. Wow. They're really trying to siphon off of everything in your life. Your happiness. They're waiting for the moment to be able to do this too. With the three of wands here, they're waiting. They're waiting for the perfect moment to be able to siphon everything from you. As If they're just like, if, if the collective just lets me into their life, right? If they just let me in their life, you know, if I could just, you know, get in contact with them or if I could just talk to them or... That's the only... And you know this. You know this. Because you're following your instincts. Clarify isolation and reverse. I'm going to do that one. I'm 
judgment. They're being judged for this. They're being judged for wanting to bring you into their messy life after they tried to take everything from your life and it did not work. They tried to set you up. They're dancing with the devil. They're being judged for this. God is judging them. The angels are judging them. The divine is judging them. And they're scared. They're scared. And they, I, I don't think that they know they're being judged. But it's, it's funny too because as they're being judged, they're simultaneously waiting for you to come back into their life so that way they can siphon. And the fact that that's what their intentions are, they're being judged for that as well. It's like everything that they're doing now, their thoughts, their intentions, their feelings, their mindset, they're being judged for because none of it is pure. None of it is out of good intentions. Everything is all about self, self-gain, self-interest, right? King of Wands, reverse. King of Wands, reverse, and the King of Pentacles, reverse. Wow. This person can't commit to anything in his life and he has nothing in his life. <laughs> That's why he can't do the work because he can't commit. He can't commit to being a better person. This is the kind of person that'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to stop doing this. And then, you know, next thing you know, they're, they're doing that thing that they said they were going to stop the next day. Or they're going to be like, oh, I, I'm going to be committed to being a, a better person. And the next thing you know, they're still, you know, a really shitty person. They can't commit to anything. They can't commit to anything and they don't have anything. So they would rather take it from people, take it from other people, right? If you're living a certain lifestyle, they like to take that as a, as a mask and be like, oh yeah, this is how I live my life. But it's really not. They, they t siphon things from people, siphon there. They siphon things. And it's, I, it, anyway, so I'm going to cut the reading here. Okay. So this is a reading. I hope it helps. I hope it gives anybody some, some clarity, guidance. I'm, stuttering a lot um so you know if you like this video give it a like if you're interested in subscribing to my channel you're more than welcome to do so i'm also doing personal readings as well so if anybody uh wants a personal reading you're welcome to email me i have that information in my about me section in my um my channel <laughs> so have a great night bye